Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Things are about to get interesting on the FIFA 23 market today because I think there is a potential for a lot of supply to hit the market that could impact a lot of player prices because of a fan favorite Champions League based SBC, UEFA marquee matchups. And I am pretty much expecting that SBC to drop today because we're in the middle of a Champions League based promo anyway, or a Europa promo with live cards for all these different competitions. And we haven't had it yet. And it's the fourth match day. We didn't have it last week. It just makes sense for UEFA marquee matchups to be dropping today. So I want to talk, take a look at how that, of course, supply could impact the market, but we still have compensation. EA Sports didn't tweet about the hero pack situation yet. I, I feel like I check Twitter like every 30 minutes to see if they're going to say anything. They have not said anything yet, and they actually did tweet yesterday, but it wasn't about the whole hero compensation. It wasn't about the tradable packs that we are still due from an SBC that was released incorrectly as untradable over a week ago now, that Holland's transfer SBC. Yes, I'm still remembering. So all of that uncertainty plus some supply coming today could make it a pretty interesting day on the market. So we're going to talk about all of that and potentially investing in some Road to the Knockout cards that have games today or tomorrow. I'm going to talk through that as well in today's video. So if you're excited for Champions League today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about that UEFA marquee matchups. Again, as I said, we thought we were going to see this SBC last week for match day three. It never dropped. But if we take a look back to last year in FIFA 22, I like to do this, right? You've seen me do it in a couple of videos. EA like to repeat themselves. The timing and stuff usually kind of goes together year over year. Yes, it does change. And yes, of course, EA do release the content. They can do whatever they want. They can change things up every single year. You know, we haven't had UEFA marquee matchups yet. I would assume they're going to continue the same tradition. It's been in FIFA the past couple of years. And people like the SBCs. And I think EA can move the market a lot with them. Uh, last year, the first time they dropped it was during the Road to the Knockouts promo, right? You can see that around this, we had some other Champions League-based SBCs. Remember that Bernardo Silva, uh, the Politano SBC as well. So I really think that UEFA, Mar UEFA marquee matchups is going to drop today. And it's always pretty cheap, right? Um, and usually what they do is they put in two different SBCs into this. So you get three packs. You get the group reward, and then you get two individual packs for the SBCs that are inside of this. And they usually pick like the biggest matchup between the upcoming next two days in that match day, like Tuesday and Wednesday. They pick a game from Tuesday. They pick a game from Wednesday. So yes, we're probably going to see supply on the market today if this SBC drops because the packs are literally always tradable, just like regular marquee matchups. And I want to talk about a couple of the games that they might put into here. Uh, I feel like Milan, Chelsea, especially with where Group E is, really up for grabs for basically any club. Um, I think that game would be a perfect game to feature in the UEFA marquee matchups today. Also, Dortmund Sevilla could be one that features. And then from the Wednesday game, like I said, they usually pick one from Tuesday, one from Wednesday. I could very easily see them putting in Barcelona and Inter. They could maybe put in, I don't know, Napoli, Ajax, Atletico, Club Bruges. I mean, Wednesday maybe is a little bit more open, but I, I really think that, you know, Milan Chelsea would be the perfect option for them to put in your way for marquee matchups today. So with that being said, yes, you maybe can invest in some of those cards if you want to invest at your own risk. Of course, there's no leaks about UEFA MMs. Um, um, you might see a couple of leaks potentially leading up to um, the game and and that you know and the games and that content drop today. So just kind of be careful and maybe look around Twitter a little bit for that. But really, what this is going to bring is some supply to the market. And you think about what supply could do to the market on a day like today. Um, you know. Kind of think about how the market reacted yesterday too. We had a lot of really great content yesterday. You saw a lot of player prices rising up in the morning and that was what we talked about. Usually Mondays, you have that nice meta market rise as people get their weekend league rewards paid out, they finish their games, they wake up and they want to go start playing their qualifier games or their uh, D division rivals games to start working towards their next set of reward packs that they can work towards. You see a nice market rise into Monday. Then you see a little bit of a drop off as we did yesterday because of the upgrade packs and the content that they put out. And I want to just speak about that here for a second. I'm, I'm looking at Usman Dembele because a lot of people were trying to trade with cards yesterday and it was profitable. You just had to pick the right cards, right? Dembele overnight was 89,000 coins, rose all the way back up 10K to basically 99K right before the content drop yesterday. He went right back down, actually under 90K, but a lot of people were sniping him. 
him and investing in him, trying to see and hope that he would go back up to like 98K. He really didn't. He kind of stopped at like 95 and is just now chilling at like 92 to 93K. But there were other cards that were a lot more profitable. I personally got some Sadio Mane's um at like 169 170 and i actually ended up selling him closer to 180 he's back down to about 170 now you had some fluctuation yesterday for sure on a lot of these kind of more higher rated meta gold cards and some of your out of packs cards some of your informs and even some of these road to the knockout cards had some good fluctuations yesterday that you could actually end up trading with if we get the away from marquee matchups today or also if we get some sort of compensation I really do feel like you're going to see that supply hit the market decently well. I mean, it does always depend on the packs, right, that they drop. Because if they drop packs that are not that good, then, yeah, you're not going to see these player prices move that much if there's not that much supply or if the supply is really not that good. But what it really could do is create an opportunity maybe to buy a road to the knockout card for an investment. It could create an opportunity to buy a team of the week card right before they go out of packs tomorrow as an investment. Or it really could just as we have done so many times in the past couple of weeks in the beginning period of this game, trade with gold cards when they get supply, right? Just like we saw yesterday, um, you know, whether it's supply on the market, which we didn't have that much of yesterday, or if it's just a little bit of panic selling with good upgrade packs and content to do, this Ferland Mendy was 113K. He went down to the low 100s, rebounded right back to where he is now at 117,000 coins. It's cards like this, go through and look for, through some graphs of yesterday of cards that went down, but then rebounded back up nicely. Those are the cards that you would want to trade with today on Tuesday if we get a little bit of supply. Now, again, it is all relative. If we get UEFA marquee matchups today, and if we get compensation packs from EA Sports, then th there might be a lot of supply, and it might not be as easy to trade with some of these cards and to make coins off of them, and you might just see player prices slide down a decent amount in general if that happens. Now, also what I'd have to say is, wow, Mane is definitely not 170K, as Footpin just said that he was. He's 180K. Interesting. Um, I, you know, speaking from like a team perspective, if you had some have some of these cards in your team and you're like, Nate, what should I do with some of these guys? You know, I think that the market with everything that's going on, there's really good SBCs that are out right now with the upgrade packs, road to the knockouts are in packs, and especially with the whole hero compensation, with the other compensations that have to happen. There's just so many factors for me right now. I would just be very, very careful holding tradable cards in your team. I, I mean, I, I said that same thing yesterday, and I said that yesterday would create, especially as that we saw the market rise into the morning, it was going to create a really nice time to maybe cash out on a few cards in your team if you wanted to. Um, and then if you're able to play with maybe a little bit of an untradable team throughout this week or just more like be careful and don't hold the cards that you buy for your team. If you're going to go buy Benzema to play some games, maybe you just go buy Benzema and then sell them right afterwards. You're right. You're not going to lose a lot of coins just for tax uh, is probably what you would lose if you go and do that. So that's the kind of thing I'd be a little bit careful with this week is holding on to teams too long because I still think that by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, especially EA has some tricks up their sleeve now with packs in the code. We had the, we had the team of the week pack dropped yesterday. It was dropped one time non-repeatable, which is a bit of a bummer, but I guess it's how they want to start us off this year, right? Uh, the 80 plus team of the week, you could just do it one time and then it went away. We still have that hero pack and the icon pack. I'm going to keep reminding you guys of that until we see it in the game and because that's going to cause some havoc the first time every single year that we see a base icon upgrade or a foot hero upgrade pack the game goes bananas because that's like the first gamble spc pack of the year and so i mean not saying those are coming this week but the potential is there because they are in the code so i just be careful with holding too many cards in your teams right now but trading with the supply and with the rare cards that fluctuate up and down in price is very profitable even yesterday like i said without supply it was more of a panic right i, I was looking at some impacts cards that were pretty meta like i bought odegaards at like 92 93 i think one of them at 94 sold at 102 105 i bought some chaminis out of packs with a little bit of panic if we get supply today watch your out of packs cards absolutely right there will be a little bit of panic selling some ones to watches Maybe uh, some of your out of pack team of the week two, team of the week one cards, heroes, even though we're being very careful with trading with heroes right now. Some of those cards yesterday had really, really good movements um, on the market. So that's what I'd be trading with just from a purely trading perspective on the market is watch for those dips in price. And yes, the cards can 
rebound back up, even if they get packed and get supplied. It's just the most meta and the most popular cards that have those fluctuations. So again, as I said, we're still awaiting compensation. And it's kind of funny that EA actually tweeted from the EA FIFA Direct account yesterday. They had a tweet and they said, uh, the issue has been addressed and impacted players have been messaged. They did the first compensation of like the f four different compensations that they have to provide right now. Uh, they gave out foot champs rewards that were golds instead of, um, you know, the actual foot champs items. So GG's to EA. They're working on it, I guess. Um, and man, I just have a feeling that today we're going to get some tweets from EA Sports. I don't know why I'm feeling today on Tuesday, but I just think that the day after their holiday, um, you know, I say holiday because EA is a global company, not just in Canada, but that's where their headquarters are. There was people from EA that don't live in Canada that I saw tweeting yesterday and like working. So, and maybe that's why this account was tweeting. So I, I don't know. I really don't know guys when this compensation is going to happen, but maybe it's today. I mean, we are still due that Holland SBC. I think that Holland SBC has expired and it's no longer in the game. Um, you know, Holland's transfer that was supposed to give us those packs. And we're supposed to get some compensation from that. Yeah, that, that SPC is gone um, and we're supposed to get compensation from it still. So that's kind of what's going on there with that stuff. Just a little bit again about the content yesterday. I think the 80 plus player or the 80 plus upgrade pack is solid. We didn't get player picks, but at least they gave us a better upgrade pack SBC. You only need one rare and you only need, what is it like? Uh, you need six players. That, that's not bad. Six players, one rare not too bad at all. Some people have had a really good luck from these. Other people have had just average luck. I'm in more of the average category. I literally just did one before I started recording the video and I packed uh, Marcus Rashford. That might have been my best pack pull, like uh, literally out of all of these. I can't lie. Also, weekend league rewards yesterday. I got Sorloth, Werner, and Kloss as reds. Uh, I got Goosens and Dest done. This is what the team is looking like at the moment. I'm looking to upgrade my left back and left center back for sure. And Adama is just all pace, but I might even start Rashford over him because, you know, I would like my left wing to be able to pass and shoot as well. So, you know, that's kind of a quick look at the team right there. But what I also want to take a look at and talk about from yesterday's content um, was the 80 plus team of the week. Just the fact that it was only one time non-repeatable kind of sucked a little bit. Um, I was hoping that we were going to have that at least repeatable a couple of times. And I don't know what the deal is with EA Sports and the upgrade packs only being available for two days. Like we have two days to do these. Um, maybe, I don't know if it has anything to do with leaks. Like they don't want us to see the leaks and to be able to save these for the next upcoming promo. I think that's pretty petty. And that's actually a case. I feel like that's not the case. I just wish that the upgrade packs were available for longer. Like this happened last week with the 78 plus during ones to watch. It just felt like it was out for such a short time frame and it didn't really make sense to me. So anyways, I guess we only have two days to get all the upgrade packs in that we want to get in in terms of that content from yesterday. We also had like the net finder SBC or whatever it was. Um, and if you like to trade on a low budget, there were some center mids yesterday. Again, this is such, yeah, or was it one for the win? No, net splitter. That was the SBC. Every single day a pack SBC comes out like this, look at the requirements. People are making bank off of, I believe it was English center mids um, because you needed three center mids in the formation and you needed goal players and you needed a lot of chemistry. That's, the, that's kind of like, you know, the formula for seeing prices go up on the market is seeing an SBC that requires a lot of chemistry for a, a good pack that would have a lot of demand. Uh, people were saying that like Jesse Lingard or maybe, you know, him, I think his card is a center attacking mid, right? Evidently, Lingard's card yesterday was selling at like 4,000 coins at one point. And that might have been like a little SBC solution trading in there. He's still at 1,000 coins right now. So just knowing when SBCs like that drop, how that's going to impact the market and just looking, knowing where to look and then finding which cards are going up, that could be a huge coin making opportunity there. Now, the last thing I want to talk about today is... Investing in some road to the knockouts because I've had a people, I've had a few people ask me, "Yo, Nate, Thomas Muller, or Phil Foden, or uh, Valverde, th these guys, their clubs are about to basically achieve with one win today or tomorrow on Tuesday or Wednesday. They are about to achieve the like unlock the the knockouts and, and put themselves in the knockouts and unlock that upgrade, right? Uh, I just want to talk about this a little bit because some people, based on the old way they used to update road to the knockout cards and upgrade them in game after they hit an upgrade cr criteria. It used to be within a couple days time, right? On the weekend after maybe it was Thursday night, maybe it was Friday. Sometimes they did it on Saturday mornings. 
EA, which we love the communication here, it's just a little bit different. EA have been very specific in telling us when these upgrades are going to go live. So here's the example, right? Like I was saying, Thomas Muller, uh, Phil Foden, and uh, Valverde, right? Madrid, City, and Bayern are all winning their groups right now. Um, and they have not lost a game yet. If they win a game at any team that is on nine points, basically, Club Bruges is on nine points as well. How did I miss that? That's crazy. Gee, and they haven't given up a goal? Oh my gosh, Club Bruges is killing it. That's crazy. Anyways, um, if Bayern or any of the teams that are on nine points would win their game today, that basically locks them in to the knockout round because they will have 12 points in their group, right? And, and basically, if you have 12 points, you're a shoe in right? So they've basically gotten one of the two upgrade potential, um, you know, the, the two paths to an upgrade, right? You get a wins upgrade if your team gets two wins out of the next three. And if you qualify, you get an upgrade. So they would kind of get that qualification upgrade, you know, checked off the list if they get a win today. And they would get their first of two wins needed in the last three match days. But here's the fine print on the small text on the FAQ page. Qualification upgrades will go live after the group stages have been completed starting Friday, November 4th. So any of these teams like for Muller or for Foden, like Bayern could lock in their spot in the knockouts today with or tomorrow with the win. They play tomorrow on Wednesday, right? But technically this card's not going to get upgraded for that until the 4th of November, like literally three and a half weeks from now. That's a bit of a buzzkill, right? I mean, if they knock, if they check out and get into the knockout rounds and they, you know, basically achieve that, you would feel like, hey, EA Sports, let's upgrade the card sooner than that, please. But that's not the way they're doing it this year. The um, qualification upgrades will start on the 4th. Now, the first upgrades, as they've said here, will go live on October 21st. Now, I just did a bit of research and figured this out really fast because there's only one reason why this date shows as October 21st. Because in fact, as we said, Nobody will be able to play a second game until October 25th. That's match day number five for the Europa competitions, Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League. The difference is there's a rescheduled game that happens on the 20th of October. Arsenal play PSG, or PSV. It was a postponed game from earlier on. And the only reason why this date is October 21st is because on that week, if Martin Odegaard and the Arsenal boys win the first two games, right? If they win their game this week on the 13th and if they win on the 20th, nobody else is playing on the 20th except Arsenal, then he will get upgraded on the 21st. He'll be the only card. And then the week after that would be, as it says here, um, it will be, they will go live at the end of each week after all the European matches have concluded starting Friday, October 21st. So the next Friday, the 28th, that's when you would see basically everybody else's upgrades come in from match day, um, basically match day five. It's just weird because Arsenal have this postponed game, which makes this date 21st seem like it's pretty soon we're going to get upgrades. But in reality, it's not actually going to be until the 28th of October when we will see a majority of the cards upgraded for their performances. That was a bit confusing to, to think through and look through right there. But uh, really what it means is we're not getting upgrades for a while. So with that being said, I do still think that if people see today and hear that, you know, oh, Bayern or Madrid or whoever has won enough games to get enough points to qualify themselves for the knockout round, I do think people are going to look to invest in some of these cards. But like I said, we're going to have supply today, most likely either today or tomorrow. I would expect some supply and some downturn to hit the market a little bit on some of these uh, cards with that supply. So maybe a guy like Muller or a Foden or a Valverde or um, nobody from Club Brood got a card. But, you know, any of those teams that are on nine points right now in their group absolutely would be cards that you want to watch because they could go up in price a little bit um, with that, you know, upgrade kind of in line and, you know, people being, you know, ready to see that card upgrade. Although, as it says on the website, the upgrade's not going to happen just yet. I think people will assume that, oh, Bayern's going to be in the knockouts. They won, right? So maybe I'm jinxing them right now. You would, you would think that they would be able to win their game tomorrow. But, you know, 
people I think will see that they have clinched that spot and they will go out and buy the card. So that's kind of what I would say is a little bit of an investing opportunity for a short term hold. But again, I'm just being very careful with anything that I do right now on this market and on this game uh, with my coins. I'm keeping it to quick flips only and I'm just doing, you know, kind of light stuff. And just trading and, and getting in and out of cars really fast. I don't want to get stuck like a lot of people did with Heroes on the weekend when the market got destroyed. Whenever EA starts doing this compensation, I want to make sure that I have coins liquid and available ready to go so that I can try to take advantage of the situation when it arises, whether it's on ones to watch cards, informs, whatever it may be. I want to make sure that I have coins ready to go so I can try to take advantage of that supply, trade in it and make some coins through it. So that's kind of how I'm feeling on the market right now. Icons are absolutely looking like a decent place uh, to trade. Just got to learn the prices, learn the fluctuations because people are definitely using these cards, man. Like, you know, this Roberto Carlos was selling at like 740 yesterday. Right now he's kind of low, but it doesn't look like low enough for I'm going to buy it. I sold one of these Lams on Saturday for 660, but it doesn't look that good right now. Mane was down. What's his price right now? Is Mane like above 550, 560? 570, 564, 550. So, you know, you're going to have fluctuations on these cards and you're going to be able to trade with them. Um, and we are going to plan to do a little bit more of a trading method video here in the coming days. I know a lot of you guys are looking to make coins with fluctuation trading. And I want to take a look and talk through fluctuation trading uh, with you guys. Really, really quick to end off this video, there's one piece of information that I did leave out that I want to cover really fast. We are getting a dynamic duo leak. The next one, uh, of course, we had the Suarez and the Abemba center back card. We now have this one right here, uh, Rodrigo and Jack Harrison, which, again, these are predicted stats, by the way, not confirmed stats. But if EA juiced these cards up enough, I like this dynamic duo opportunity, especially for, you know, if you're a Leeds fan or if you have a Premier League side. If these SBCs were pretty cheap for the, um, the Marseille um SBC they put out so I would hope that these are going to be pretty cheap as well and I like this dynamic duo this thought process I like what they're doing with these SBCs so far don't know when this is going to drop because the other dynamic duo is still available but that is our next leak and that's kind of the only leak that we have right now at the moment heading into a Tuesday on Fever 23 fingers crossed for some compensation and some news because honestly I just want answers man that's all I want from EA Sports I want some answers and keep dropping good content because they've been doing a pretty good job at that in the past couple of days in this RTTK promo so if you enjoyed the video today smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been Nate for the count and I'll catch you guys later peace